Hi guys, I'm Zach and I'm in charge of video for Broadway Dreams this summer and I help out with the photos. Hi, I'm Nicole and I'm lead intern for Philly this summer. And we just wanted to take a second to help you guys out and give you some tips on your audition for final casting in Philly this week. Um, this is an example of a proper headshot. So we've got the name at the bottom right there and there are no overlapping so the actual headshot is the same size as the resume. And if you will, staple at the top on all the corners, and sorry, let me get where you can see it, and so that you um, don't have any staples actually on your forehead because that wouldn't look very good. Um, and also so that it won't come apart once it's been stapled, so everything stays together. This is an <clears throat> example of the wrong way to do things. We've got a bunch of stuff hanging over here on the edges. It's like not stapled, we've got a paper clip, and what happens if they come apart? We don't know who you are. So we want to know who you are, especially for casting. So if you do run into that problem, staple the edges and then just trim off the excess so that everything is the same size and nobody loses it. Yes. And a quick note about music is um, you all know to bring in 16 to 32 bar cuts. Um, we're not doing whole songs because we have a lot of people to get through. Um, you should always have your music clearly marked. I normally do the brackets that say start right here, and I would do it in pencil because, you know, for another audition you might want to change your cut, and it's harder for the accompanist to follow music if there are several things marked in it. They're kind of trained to look at the markings. Um, and then also, of course, have a clear end and... If, if you have like an interlude, um, like in between your phrases, that really just isn't necessary, what you should do is really have it clearly cut out of the music. See right here it says cut to and an arrow and all of those bars are cut out. And if there's any confusion, the best way to do it actually is to um, photocopy the music and literally just have blank spaces where that interlude would be, and then have an arrow right to where you're going. Exactly, so that nobody gets confused. Yeah. But you can also, if you've done it like this, you can also solve that problem by talking to your companies exactly. beforehand and letting them know there's a cut and where it's at, so they know exactly when to expect it, and there's no delay or mess up in your audition, because we wouldn't want that to happen. Nope. You want, you want everything to go your way. Exactly. And also remember, when you get to the accompanist, to give them the tempo, just, you know, sing, you know, a phrase or two and they'll say, okay, I got it, thank you, and walk to the, walk to the center of the room and have a great audition. Exactly. <laughs> so be yourself, be on time, and just be prepared to wait if there's a really long line. Yes. And we can't wait to see you guys all in Philly. So excited. Circle of dreams.